Hi there, Gary Fong here, and um, I wanted to answer a question I'm asked all the time. Uh, what's a good camera to get on a fairly tight budget? And um, so, uh, here's my suggestion. Um, I just shot with this one today. It's the Sony Alpha 65, and on it I have a Sigma 50mm 1.4 lens. Now this is actually quite an inexpensive kit. Um, I think the body is about eight hundred, some nine hundred dollars or something like that. Relatively inexpensive for what you get, and then uh, the lens, uh, being the Sigma, is is not not that expensive. I'd have to look it up, but you can look it up yourself. So this is a, a DG HSM fifty millimeter f one point four, really really big front element. That's all um, you see the glass there. So it really looks like a Canon uh, fifty f one point two. Um, the bigger brother uh, is the Alpha 77, which is the one that I typically use. Um, this is uh, the uh, heavyweight um, professional camera. Right now, it's it's set up for video. It's an awesome video camera. Now, let me tell you why I like the Sony's. Um, I've shot Canon and Nikon for God knows how long, uh, all the way back to the Nikon F3, um, and actually even goes back to the Canon AE1 uh, for the film cameras. But um, the Sony has completely changed everything in terms of photography, because um, this, is ha this has what's called an OLED, OLED uh, viewfinder, which means that when you look through it, there's literally nothing optical. What you're seeing is a digital image like the one you're looking at right now, but the um, resolution on that eyeball screen is so fine that you'll swear it's optical. It it's really weird, like you're looking through it, but what's nice is you can change the uh, exposure. You can go plus, minus, um, exposure override so if it's backlit you can open up the rear or you know do whatever you want put it in black and white see it in black and white um but here's the other thing that makes it uh for me i i don't really use my canons or nikons anymore even though i, I do have them still uh and there are things that you know that that i do like about them but what what makes this one better for me is that in canon or nikon i cannot use predictive autofocus especially when doing portraiture um, like if you have, uh, say for example, a bride and she's holding a bouquet here, the predict, um, the continuous autofocus will typically focus on just the bouquet and wipe out everything else. What Sony does is they have a really interesting um, face detection, and the face detection actually makes this uh, the use of the continuous autofocus uh, work. So it's really interesting. As I'm holding the button down, this uh, thing is whizzing back and forth. And uh, I'm going to put up a couple of images that I shot. Now, this thing does 21 frames per second. Uh, um, well, this one, no, the A77 does um, tw 12 frames per second. I don't know what the uh, specs are on this one. But um, it is a very, very fast motor drive. And when I put it on motor drive, continuous autofocus, it goes, because there's no mirror popping up. And it literally captures these, these large files as um, people are moving back and forth. And for some reason, it, it nails the eyeballs. So I'll put these images up um, as a close. And then um, I think probably I'll just put you know the link where the images can be found on the description below. Uh, but anyway, that, that's the reason that I would say um, this is maybe all told together with lens and everything like that, under $1,400, uh, considering the cost of a Canon... Uh, uh, 5D Mark III. I have the 5D Mark II. Um, the 5D Mark III is about uh, mid 3000s, and uh, I'm not kidding. This one will, will dust it. Uh, it'll blow it away. So anyway, um, so if you're looking for what's a good investment for a midline pro camera, uh, Sony A65. If you're looking for a really good investment uh, for the best uh, pro digital camera, um, my choice is now the Sony A77. This body's maybe 1300. Okay, so on these images, all of them were shot at aperture priority f1.4 um, in really, really close, as close as uh, pretty much as the lens would take. And um, the focus method is uh, continuous focus, uh, what uh, Canon and Nikon would call predictive autofocus, with face detection on, and the um, exposure mode is aperture value. Um, the motor drive is on continuous high, which I can do with this camera because uh, it responds so quickly that uh, I can just, you know, shoot a whole bunch of them uh, just right in a quick sequence. It's almost like video and get uh, great results.